Johnson just to the left at the top of the key. Here's Asbury popping out high. Feeds back to McQuarrie. McQuarrie guarded by Andrews. 15 on 15. Over to Johnson in the corner. Picked up by McDonald. Back to Tara Davis. There's a dump down to Asbury. Cutting low past house. Up and off the glass and good. So the lead back to 14 at 40 to 26. With four and a half to go here in the ball game. Jasmine Brooks across the timeline. Feeds to McDonald on the right wing. That pass for nobody. Look for House was the closest player and another turnover for the Blue Devilettes when they could least afford to do so. Sarah Riddle coming back in and London Neely coming back in for or Ellie coming back in for the Lebanon Devilettes. Well they're going to have Ellie down the stretch. Got to have Ellie even with four fouls and she hadn't really changed her defensive play. She's just been very fortunate. Hasn't had any foul calls. Here's McCleary working on Brooks. Feeds the left corner to Davis. Back out high top of the key to Riddle. Near side, outside the trade line. Down in the corner, left side, long three-pointer, Tara Davis. Davis strikes again to bump the lead to 17 at 43-26. Kim Hawk, dangerous pass up the right sideline, goes out of bounds. 19 for Tara Davis. So another turnover for Lebanon. And it's slipping away from them slowly but surely with 4-0-1 to go here in the ball game. They're down by 17. Oakland ball in the backcourt. Johnson inbounds to McCleary. McCleary will work on Brooks. Everybody goes into the front court except McCleary and Brooks. Now McCleary makes it. McCleary dribbles to the left side, feeds to Johnson. Johnson out high to Riddle. Riddle near side. Davis thinks about three. Instead, dribbles, feeds to McCleary, left side. McCleary feeds to Asbury at the top of the key. Near side, Davis looking for Riddle down low. They get it down in there, deflected away by Stacey Andrews, but Riddle controls, feeds it back out front to McCleary between the rings, and they'll set it back up. And it looks like they're going to call another moving screen this time on Sarah Riddle. Kim Ha has been a hound on defense. She's been running around the screen. Did they call out on Riddle or did they call out on Davis? Did they get Davis? I don't yep. think they did, yes. Way to go, Eagle Eyes. I knew I had you up here to help me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so Kim Ha will step to the line. They're in the double bonus, so she'll be shooting two, trying to cut into the 17-point Lady Patriot lead. Ooh, bounces around and no good. Lebanon just unable to do anything from the free throw line tonight. They're not even 50% now. Callis checks in, Brooks checks out, House checks in, Andrews checks out. Set your Blue Devil at lineup. London Ellie, Ebony Marshall, Brennan Callis, Crystal House, and at the line, Kim Ha. Her second free throw is up and good. So one for two from the line. That trip down cuts the lead to 16 at 43-27. Here's Tierra McCleary in the backcourt working on Callis. She dribbles to the front, feeds in the corner to Davis. Davis cut off by Ha out front to Asbury. Asbury dumps down low in the middle of that lane to Riddle. Too hot to handle right through her hands. Turnover gives it back to Lebanon. So Sarah Riddle having a problem with turnovers tonight, Clyde. That's six I can remember right offhand. Well, Devilettes have had their chances, but they've not taken advantage. Here's Oakland in a 2-3 matchup zone. Hillary Johnson works out high on Kim Ha. Kim Ha picks up her dribble, feeds across the house. Guarded closely by Davis. She'll stop at the top of the key, dribble back out. Dribble back to the free throw line, feed to Kim Ha. She'll take an 18-footer off the side of the iron. No good. Rebound, long rebound. Tierra McClure. She's got Johnson up ahead, but can't get it to her. She'll slow it down and set it up. Picked up by Callis. Looks for Davis left side, cut off by Crystal House. Davis dribbles to the three-point line, feeds to Riddle back outside to McCleary. McCleary works on Callis, feeds across to Davis. Davis to Asbury, top of the key, back to McCleary. So Oakland in no particular hurry with the 16-point lead and two and a half to go in the ball game. Hillary Johnson works out high. Feeds back to Davis. They're just running a basically a Harlem Globetrotters three-man weave outside the top of the key. Hillary Johnson feeds back to Davis. Nobody touching it for more than five or six dribbles. Davis feeds to McCleary. She dragged her foot, no call. Dribbles to the right side, feeds back outside to Johnson. Johnson gets a double pick, cut off by Callis, feeds back to Davis. Davis drives to the right side of the lane, cut off the baseline by House, feeds back out front to McCleary. McCleary hounded by Ha, feeds back to Johnson. Ha all over Hillary Johnson, no call. Lemon got a break there. Here's Terry Davis out high, and Crystal House will get the foul. I don't think Davis. Well, I think they fouled the wrong one. I don't think that's the one they wanted to foul because Davis has been perfect from the free throw line. She's three out of three. Boy, and Lebanon's played their hearts out tonight, but down by 16 here late. 
Only the sixth team foul on Lebanon, so no free throws. Tom out on the court. We'll take it with them. You're listening to Lebanon High School Basketball on WANT FM 98.9 WCOR AM 900. Back in 30 seconds. This is Scott Benson. It oversees the Lebanon Athletic Program. They do a fine job. And stay tuned between games tonight. We have an interview with the Lebanon High Principal, Don Hassler. Oh, that ought to be good. I love to hear him talk. He's he's a great guy. Here is Oakland in the front court. Tierra McCleary worked, worked on by Marshall. Feeds over here to Tara Davis. Davis cut off by Callis. Great reach in, but she got her on the arm, so they'll call a foul. And finally, the bonus for the Lady Patriots. They'll go to the line to shoot the one and one. I believe it's Tara Davis. Two on Callis. Gutsy performance by the Blue Devilettes tonight. You can't fault the effort. They just dug a hole early and weren't able to come out of it. Tara Davis steps to the line to shoot the one and one. First shot bounces around, no good. Crystal House with the rebound. So Lebanon looking to cut into the 16-point lead. She crosses the timeline, picked up by Tara Davis. Straight man-to-man -man by the Lady Patriots. Crystal House had it knocked away momentarily, regains control, gets it over to Andrews. Andrews guarded by Malone, and they're going to call a palm on Stacey Andrews out front. She reached under and pulled the old dipsy do. So the turnover gives it back to Oakland, far side right in front of the Lebanon bench. Hillary Johnson set the inbounds. Gets it all the way across to McCleary. McCleary picked up by Callis right at the timeline. She'll get across and dribbling in the jump circle. Picks up her dribble, feeds far side Davis. Davis covered by Marshall. Davis feeds over here to McCleary. McCleary cut off by Ha, feeds it across and over and back. <laughs> she almost tiptoed the line, but not quite. Tara Davis. The senior from Oakland tried to get control of it before it went across, but she touched her toes on the Lebanon side. The turnover gives it to Lebanon right at half court. A minute and 11 to go in the ball game. Here's Crystal House in the backcourt. She'll walk it across, picked up by Davis. Picks up her dribble, nowhere to go. Looks for Andrews, feeds it far side, right side. Picked up by Malone. Andrews takes a long three off the side of the iron, falls it up, can't control the rebound. Last touch by Lebanon. I don't believe anybody touched it. Andrews was the last one, so out of bounds off the shooter. Oakland ball in the far corner on the Lebanon bench side. Here's Hillary Johnson set the inbounds, guarded by Johnson, gets it into McCleary. McCleary covered by Callis. Crossover dribble right at the timeline. She'll get it across. Drive right by Brandel and Callis straight to the basket, up and off the glass and good. So Tierra McCleary with a great move that time. The crossover dribble faked out Callis, and she had a clear avenue straight to the basket. That jumps it out to 18 with 37 seconds and counting. Here's Callis, gets it to Andrews, reach in foul that time by Lene Malone. So Stacey Andrews set to go to the line to shoot two. Only 27 points tonight for the Blue Devilettes, Clyde. That's not going to win too many games. Well, it's not going to win you too many games. Oakland has 45 on the board, and that's come from four different scores. They only have four people in the scoring column. And here's Andrews' first shot. Up, bounces around, no good, off the side of the iron. Well, Andrews now just one of three from the free throw line. And Lebanon's free throw woes continue. Stacey Andrews' second shot is good. 45-28 your score, 17-point lead for the Lady Patriots. It was closer here earlier, but they pulled away late. Here's Hillary Johnson in the corner. 28 seconds and counting. Kim Hall working on Hillary Johnson. Feeds over to McCleary. No need to foul now. McCleary feeds to Davis, and Oakland should be able to run it out. Davis to Johnson. Just to remind you, scoring summary coming up immediately following the game. Here's McCleary, and Ha injures her ankle right at the jump circle. She shakes it off and comes back. So Oakland content to run it out. Your final score, the Lady Patriots from Murfreesboro, Oakland High School, 45, the Lebanon High Blue Devilettes, 28. We'll have your scoring summary brought to you by, by McDowell Motor Company, Ron's Family Hair Design, after this one-minute timeout.